obviously you want to pop. He got the same amount of rings as Steph Curry and Kawhi Leonard. City bro. girl boys. But he dominated. City girl he boys. He dominated. Uh, He's dominated. Uh, he got the same amount of rings as Steph Curry Le- I mean, and Kawhi Leonard. Are we dropping it? Can I stream at the same time? Oh, yeah. No, I you can't see the controller? Yeah, 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 you can. All right. Gentlemen, we in the building. Yes, sir. Marco is in the building. How you feeling, bro? Good. Got your crutches. You know what I'm saying? About to start PT. <laughs> that shit gonna suck. Man, you it's know, sometimes we don't give each other enough love out here. You ever call your homies and just be like, man, I love you, bro? Like, I genuinely fuck with nah. your energy that you bring to my life, bro. Just when you think about the Kobe situation and the I pop mean, smoke I situation. Say to. That's I what I'm saying. I, like, I definitely think we, I think, I know I need to do that more. Just with, like, everybody. How I end conversation. It depends on how hard I fuck with you, though. Yeah, no, only your circle. I look at it as your circle of people who we talk to. Listen, me being an Aquarius and being an introvert is hard. Oh for God. me to speak on emotions anyway, so... Oh, God. Come Aquarius, so, too, but... Man. But the people that's closest to me, though, I ain't, I ain't used to do that shit, but, like, I started doing that shit. Like, oh, me yeah. and Bryce, like... Oh, my now, now my Bryce, daughter's like, my girl. My mom. I mean, not even just those immediates, because, you know, those are, like, they, I, those, those are understood. I'm talking about... You know what I'm saying? Your partners, your homies, you work with, your people you get money with. Yo, like, you have two families in life almost. Three, if you think about the family you're born into, the family you create, then you got your work family, your office family, your work girlfriend, office girlfriend. Like, everybody can put these weak ass stick models on it. It is what it is. These are the people you spend the most time with and who you give your energy to. So, with that being said, I just think that, you know, with your situation, and it's just so crazy how it happened because. I was just up at that time of night, and you know, I'm never up at that time of night. Uh, and, you know, we just, we just happy you're here. Like, you, you want to speak I mean, that, that is, that is some real shit, though. We are happy you made it, because most people don't make it through something like that. Like he that. said, we were speaking off wax on it yesterday, and he said, I really don't know nobody that really has gotten to a car accident this bad. Like, for real. Maybe Shorty we went to middle school with who got hit by the car, but she was walking on the wrong side of the street. Yeah, she was, like, like she said, she set herself up for that. <laughs> yeah, she did it. We're not gonna say that, Olax. <laughs> 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 she was though. No, I mean she. I mean, but she I mean, should look. It's, it's an eerie situation. Yeah, it's, it's a crazy situation anyway. So I'm not that's saying. That's why that. I don't know. But that's about the only time traumatic person I know who's who's gotten into a car accident to this magnitude. So. Like I say, we just happy here. Like that's why people we put the pod on delay. We had to make sure the fam, you know, was was straight internally. So like you know, now we back. Knights of the round table's back. Uh, you want you want you want to speak on it? Let me let me get y'all trying. Yeah, here. it's hard to like. I don't know, bro. That shit like I don't know. Then they fucked me up, but like I don't know. I was thinking about this shit last night. Like, God. Knights of the round table. Real. That shit fucked me up. Just like listen to how motherfuckers are talking about Kobe and shit. Just like how his daughter, like how, bro. Vanessa fucked me up when she was talking yesterday, bro. Like, I ain't that's a strong ass woman, bro. I didn't even get to watch woman, it. Bro. I didn't even get that to watch is it. a strong ass woman, bro. Like, she just had to go up there, bro, and literally talk about Kobe and her daughter, bro. Like, bro, that shit's tough. That shit's tough. Oh, and you can tell she still ain't really accepted the fact that they're dead, bro. Like, I think it's still tough for me too because as a sports fan, I just keep seeing all these images and game moments, and like we didn't even do a Kobe. We did do a Kobe edition, but I think I text one of y'all was like, "Man, I don't like it. Yeah. We need to redo this shit." Like we no, need to like the, the, just hearing her talk though, just put all that shit in perspective last night. Like you could be here today and gone tomorrow. Bro, some people say that like shit is so some real, people like, say like, like 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 my old man like he 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 going through it as well. Uh, he always used to say, some people saying, you know, we pray for tomorrow and, and just the culture we in. And we just think we gonna get tomorrow, bro. We might not even get through today. Oh you know what I'm saying? Like, when you walk through your door and you went through your accident, you did not know you were gonna be gone from your home and your daughter for 10 days. Yeah, it, was, it was like five. Five. Five or six. Either way, too long. Yeah. But that's oh, what I'm yeah, saying. God. Just just, just to be playing. running a normal errand and doing normal life activity 
and to now they have that like and removed. Then my shit like on hold. Yeah, like everything yeah. is on pause. So that's what I'm saying. Like you know, sometimes hey man, it's okay to you know, people and it's you know, people want to be so gangster, being tough. It's okay to say, hey, my nigga, I love you. I hope you be safe out here. Like I hope you, you spend know? time with your kids. I hope you sitting back watching Moana or, you know, Doc McStuffins or whatever, just, like, really getting to smell your roses and not just out here working and working and grinding and trying to get in and not, like, like seeing that shit because sometimes I fall victim of that, too. Like, like sit back and, like, really enjoy that shit. Uh, because, like, shit you take for granted? Bro. Man. I take, bro. What? I, bro. Just so don't walk into the bathroom taking a piss, bro. Like for real, like for real, like shit make you move different on everything. Uh, and then, that was like the most frustrating <laughs> shit, bro. Not being able to do shit, like I don't know, bro. Your normal everyday bro. routine. Cause I don't, bro. I don't that's why I be trying not. That's why I try not to make fun of people like with handicaps too, man. Oh, but oh, you that's never know. No, though. yeah, they already. No, nah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But they're the real superheroes anyway because they already are able to move in a system that's not even designed for them. Like you know, like I be people. I be people. Mean, you ain't me. You ain't got to tell uh, me. The life of Marco. You always said you wanted a, <laughs> a pod, so we gave you your own segment, like. You know, uh, just 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 staying on topic. Uh, what what was your thoughts about seeing some of the medical side and the business side and the insurance side of all that? You know, because some people really don't know. You know, black people, white people, some people really have no understanding. I tell you, bro, you bro. riding around out here without insurance, bro, you tripping? Because, bro, if I didn't have insurance, oh my god, you talk about debt. <laughs> you saw the bill, nigga. <laughs> That's without physical therapy, nigga. That's without my doctor's business, bro. I ain't even went to physical therapy yet, bro. You saw the bill. That's what I'm saying, bro. Nigga, that insurance shit ain't nothing to play with, bro. Like, I don't know. But I, and then I work for the insurance, though. So it's like, I work for Anthem. I work for Geico. So I know how the shit go. So it's like, yeah, bro. That shit ain't nothing to play with, though. But a lot of people not even financially literate. I don't want to say financially literate. Literate. I guess that's the right word to even have that. Nah, bro. Most people just don't give a fuck. They be like, "Shit, I ain't got shit. Fuck it." But, bro, you say that shit until the motherfucker really finna take your crib, how your wages garnished. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. he ain't bullshitting. <laughs> oh, and you can't keep, bro. Can you, bro, you can't do nothing about it. You literally can't do nothing about it, bro. If a motherfucker say, "I'm garnishing your shit." You literally got to be like, all right, here you go. Here's my shit. I'm working hard as fuck. Here you go. That shit's tough. They do that shit if you get so far behind on motherfucking child support. They just start taking your shit. Here. We yeah. got, we, we, we'll do it for you since you can't do it. The boys is definitely getting their cars took, their jobs are putting on hold. They losing. Bro, nigga, take care of y'all fucking kids, though. Nigga, what, nigga? They, bro, they taking everything, bro. Yeah. And it's fucked up because, like, I don't know, some situations it's fucked up. But they shouldn't have to tell somebody to take care of your kids. And then there's some dudes who do, and they get put through the ranger. So it's like a fickle situation anyway. That shit is a great Yeah, but, like, that all just goes back to you shouldn't have a fucking government in your business anyway. You should be able to handle your business. Like, just my thoughts. It's tough, bro, because... Niggas got bitter ass baby mamas, bro. Definitely. That's so why I say it's a fickle situation. I see both sides. Easily. Easily see both sides. Like, no way, shape, or form how I can't. Like, you know what I'm saying? We didn't talk like, off wax. We didn't talk off wax. Like, I just know, bro. Some niggas, bro, like, hey, baby mama, like, them niggas couldn't even be successful if they wanted to, bro. They couldn't. And that's without going to the block. Without doing yeah, the, exactly. the without, like, without doing the yeah. illegal route, without doing the thing that's gonna put them back in the system, that's per, perpetuation yeah. black men, you gotta and you got to do all these things that are not gonna further your 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 path to success. So yeah, like I say, I feel both sides. I just I don't know, man. It's just yeah, exactly. But this the thing. This is the thing. So how so do y'all feel about? You think a female about... should get her? You think a get a child support check? No, I don't. And how do you? Okay, how you? Okay, if you female well, child support check. Either. You think a motherfucker should have like a set thing that they spend that bread on? Yeah. Yes, sir. I do. I do too. 
So you like a stipend, like a you know generated saying, stipend, like, like a stipend that's already. Nah, nah, like like if you if you call spending this like money nigga, if I give you this money, you, you better not get nothing else. You better not get no goddamn hair with this shit. You better not get no goddamn nails with this shit. Unless the but, but at the same time, daughter, unless they are gonna say they gonna say, but the, this they think they gonna say whatever keeps the mama up. So at the I end of the that. day, they gonna be like they gonna be like if the mom already paid rent and stuff and woo woo woo, then she's allowed to because at the end of the day, she gotta take care of herself too to take care of it. Yeah. That's what they gonna say, bro. It sucks, but I just went through it. Five hundred dollars a month, it sucks. Hey, hey. Hold on, pause that thought. And I just I realized we like 10 minutes in. I ain't introduced the show. I ain't introduced who you yeah, niggas are. Niggas are talking. Right, yeah, we just start going in. Niggas is ready to pop. We were just happy Marco's back. Hold on, we just fucked up the cam. But you got Titan or something? This nigga is going crazy, bro. I ain't going to lie. Bro, he don't be... I'm going to be respecting our greatness. He think he better than me. I am. All right, 10 minutes in. Let's get this started. I am your host, D. Smith, king of the podcast, casual gamer, controversial critic, the contrarian. These my dogs, Knights of the Round Table, in the building, J. Church. Preach. We got Marco, the calculator, back from... The calculator, the human <laughs> calculator. Nah, you know what I mean? Nah, he be, he be calculating some shit. I'll be, I be with him in the field, man. I was calling him money, Marco, but it's just cat. I just see how he be calculating numbers, man. Yeah. Uh, That's like, that gotta be like a gift, bro. Like real shit. Well, like your numbers be good with the like, nah, just certain people who have certain gifts. It's like a chef or an artist or. What if you have all of those traits? Who? Understand what if you do, like me. Like you, nigga. I'm a rapper, bro. I'm a chef, bro. Give me a sixteen. I'm about to say I, I got to hear. Give me a sixteen. I'm about, I'm about I'm about Oh, I ain't got no man. bars. Yeah, you I, ain't got, I ain't got no bars. You ain't ready? No, I ain't got no bars. Come hey, on. This is ready, y'all. Oh, oh. Come on, bro. Nice little round table. Let him know. All right, man. Nah. That was nah. a good beat, too. I know. Come on, man. Looking for revenge. <sighs> All right, man, let's stay on topic. Shout out to the Spotify listenership, YouTube viewership, first and last time listeners. Anybody I want to, else I want to shout out? Shout out to the government workers. Y'all for making sure the world stays on track right now. The boys is getting them checks if you ain't got direct deposit. Because if y'all didn't, just know. Shit will be on fire. Taxes here. <laughs> it's tax season, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> You know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> um, 73. Yeah. All right. Let's stay on topic. Um, uh, 200, bro. Wilder Fury. <laughs> no, but let's go on to the Kobe memories because, you know what I'm saying, Marco touched on some Kobe shit. Uh, you talked about the Vanessa. I did not watch the tribute yesterday because... Bro, like, it's so crazy because it's like, I don't even like, yeah, his basketball memories is cool, but like, that shit's so much deeper than all that, bro. Like, that shit's fucked. Thinking about that shit, bro. That nigga had four daughters, bro. But how she was put in perspective, bro, she ain't never gonna see her her, her fucking daughter had that daddy-daughter dance with them. She ain't, she, they ain't about to see their daughter graduate the eighth grade, like, get that first college acceptance letter. Like, bro, she was put some shit in perspective last night and then her fucked me up. Like, that yes. shit, bro. And then for her to get on stage and say that in front of everybody, bro, like, Bro, that's a strong ass woman, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. My dog had a queen, dog. Oh God, I couldn't imagine going through what she going through right now. Church, the thoughts. I don't want to speak on it. R.P. Kobe. <laughs> oh, I mean, well, we do have a podcast, so wow. we're obligated to speak to our people. People, yeah, people but I don't have to, to, I don't have to in, in, interpret on every conversation, man. All I'm saying is I want to stay away from that conversation as far as possible. Well, is it not real to you yet? You know that's like symptomatic. No, nigga, it is real, but at the same time, I don't want to. It's over. I don't. The memorial happened. I don't want to keep. Look, I'm mad they drug it out that long. Like I rather them get it done with, bro. I don't like people going through that. I don't like to see it, bro. So yeah. I don't. I want understand to that. I understand that energy. That's why so, I was like, bro. She, bro. Every time she cut on the TV, bro, she got to see this nigga, bro. That's literally like, like every single time, bro. I think the best way for everybody all over the world to celebrate Kobe's memories to get a piece of paper, find a trash can. You better hit the fucking shot 
and yell Kobe because that's just one yeah. of the like. You don't even have to hit the shot. No, you Kobe, didn't hit the shot. Kobe didn't hit them all. He but, never did. He was like seven to ten. Yeah, but if you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you have to hit them all if you counting it down. You better not say fuck. You better not start off with fucking ten second countdown and miss the shot. Before I move forward, and I can't explain it, but you better feel me. Winners win Man. and losers lose. I don't know if I can find a quote, a moment, a speech that solidifies the Mamba mentality more than that. Shout out Eric Thomas if y'all ain't y'all familiar. Um, before we move on to the next topic, who's the best? Name him your best Kobe moment. I mean, we probably gonna get y'all full heat Kobe edition. You know what I'm saying? Like some full uh, details. Off the top of my head. But like, we're just going to give you the off the top, you know what I'm saying? Best Kobe moment. Because I'm going to be on record and say I was definitely not a Kobe fan. I ain't about to be out here flexing and say I was. But it's almost on some Tom Brady shit. I just grew to respect mm-hmm. his game and what he did. But I'm still saying Brown's better. My favorite Kobe moment is when he sat on Dwight Howard's shoulders. Boy, that was up there. Yeah, that's definitely a top ten. Well, I think the sixty ball going out, bro, for me. The six, they kept giving him all the shots. Though. Man, I hear hard. what you're saying. He had to hit him too. When 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 your man when your favorite player go out with sixty, let me know. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. I'll let I you mean, know. he might not though. Exactly. He might get a triple double. All right. Like I said, when your favorite player go out with 60, let me know. It's about the equivalent. Hell no, bro. Stop that. Mm. Stop that. Bro. My favorite Kobe moment. So did they let Kobe get 60, though? Or is that, is that, yeah, is not, that not, not at first. Not at first. I think they let him not get 40, first. and then he got the other 20 because he was just, like, in a mode. Uh, my favorite Kobe moment might be the start of the dynasty with Shaq when down six in Portland, and he came down... Hit the jump shot. They got a stop on D. Kobe brought the ball up. A lot of people don't know he was a pretty good ball handler. Really underrated ball handler. Through the alley to Shaq. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of set the wheels in motion of what we know to be Kobe and Shaq in that era of the Showtime Lakers. So, you know, it's just the situation's tough. But, you know, I think uh, maybe, like they say, I ain't going to say everything happens for a reason. Maybe he just so served his purpose on this dimension, and he was he, now he's ascended to a higher level. Like Nipsey, you feel me? Like what more can what more could he have done in his life? Honestly, shit, he was just getting started. Yeah, exactly, I think that part too. You know, he was still a father, definitely enjoying retirement. I think he was about just about to be dope to see what his daughter was about to be too. Like how he was really transitioning to like really being a girls' coach, bro. Like I don't know that shit. I don't know, that shit is crazy. It's crazy. All right. R.I.P. Mama, man. Uh, yeah. I think another topic, bro. I really put it in perspective. He bro. was about like, to get... I think he, he was about to get his daughter paid, hey. bro. We're on the clock, bro. That's what I'm saying. The hourglass yeah, has been ticked the minute you yeah, came out the wall. <laughs> and oh, you just going to borrow time at this point. So that's why you have to live Fuck every day. It truly dies. You transcend. I believe that. I'm, I, I don't... I mean, I don't, it depends on your definition of transient. I could agree. I could disagree. So what do you think happened? Well, when you die? Yeah. Oh, I think I already told you. I think we all just here to learn. I don't think you, I think you retain all your memories. I think this is a starting point. Like on some To a never shit. ending story type shit. Paradox. That's why we are so dumb and primitive and you get Violent. what I'm saying? Yeah, Scary. Yeah, as, as, a, as a whole people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can feel that theory. Once we've learned, we've came here, we've learned, we get to explore the universe. Damn, there's how I feel, how I look at it. Because I don't see it ending. It's too much energy. We all know energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transferred. Definitely. Any amount of energy that's going to be is already here. So people have to die. Like... Oh, man, with that being said, this uh this segment is getting kind of morbid, so we don't uh see I'm just it, saying, bro. man. Or right, Kobe. Bro. I mean, hey, I Kobe. feel it. I mean, I was just closing on the Kobe shit. Uh, I see the tweet. Look, so we all gonna die. We just don't know how to win. Facts, big facts. That shit crazy when you put it like that, though. So, uh, can we um can can we dive into some shit? 
Bust some shit. That was shit. Just because you pull syrup on shit don't make it good. Wilder Fury, too. But then he got his ass whooped. Mm. But he had he got his ass with the first fight, too. Hell no, he didn't. He kind of yeah. did. He, <laughs> he really fight. did. He just got that knockdown. He damn near was on like yeah, some MMA. Man. Like I'm saying, he was on some like MMA. He just caught that one hit and it really like changed a couple judges' scores. But he really got outboxed that first fight, too. I Go go look at it. It's on YouTube. Bro, I watched it live. All right, well, there you go. You might be a stance for the people you like, bro. No. What what is a stand? That is a great question. What is well, a stand to you? What Eminem said in his song Dear Stan. I think that's where everybody got the term from. Yeah, that's definitely where they made it up from. Oh, okay. Well then we all know what a stand is. You're you have a heart on for this guy. No. This is where pot nah. <laughs> <No. laughs> But for, hey, but for real though, that's what I damn near think it is. You tell me that ain't what Stan was? It yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. damn near had okay. Yeah, that's him and Drake. Like I wasn't being funny. I think that's what niggas. I think that's what niggas meant. That's me with Bron. Everybody's a stand for something. You're right. I'm a You're B O B looking ass nigga. Nigga. <laughs> Bro, duh. Uh, the box. It's all about the box. Duh. Nah, I ain't a stand for B O B. Niggas don't even listen to him. I talk about that. You, you. I'm about to say that. Well, you, you don't listen to him. That makes like, this nigga is a Kanye stand. Yeah, I'm a yeah, Kanye stand. Yeah, I but, agree. Yeah, but uh, I will not refer. I don't that. do the same stuff you do for Kanye. For B, you know what I'm saying, bro? Look, what do you mean? I've told you this. What do you mean? What do I do? Did you listen? Did what do I listen? do? You be over here advocating for his comments and shit. Well, some things I agree with. Some things I don't. Yeah, shit, but I, don't, I, I don't say that for none. shit, bro. If you don't agree with it, bro, that's cool. <laughs> like that's his that's his choice. Shit, nigga. Two, some, we got two ways on how to get information is, out to the world. All I'm fell. saying is, I ain't gonna stand for nobody because I could care less. I definitely these think do. everybody's a stand for somebody. Bro, I told you I'm a no, no, bro. You are. You said no. You you, are. you want me to be because you, you are, stand. bro. It's okay if you want to admit it, bro. All right, you know bro. what I'm okay, saying. So Admittance is half the key. Who's your third best player? It was the way until he started making questionable decisions, <laughs> nigga. Like I said, so what? <laughs> so, uh, so what are we talking about? Uh, this is okay. okay, so when the way just... started making questionable decisions, since when we LeBron died. came to the heat, nigga. They won two out of four. That was they won two out of four. out of four. Yes, it was questionable, nigga, because now people are going to be like, now when it goes down to history, who team was it? You know what? You know exactly. what? Since we pied, yeah, exactly. and Since I got both pied. my dogs here, Since both of them. Nigga. Let's speak he on gave his team up Mr. For no Dwayne Wade. Because the nigga just got his number. Block. We wasn't even. This wasn't even on the. You know what I'm saying? The list. But you brought it up. You know what I'm saying? You and then we, and then I definitely didn't bring Dwayne Wade up. But since we stayed, well, since we on this and we were on Wilder Fury, I just don't want to admit that he got his ass whooped in two fights. He said that. Yeah. I don't think he got him in two fights, but he definitely He's definitely gonna, gonna get his ass knocked out in this third fight. Now this is gonna be the icing on the cake. Watch. Bro, if the nigga got forty pounds so. on you, bro, you're a top tier athlete, bro. That's what's supposed to happen. Technical fighting and technical boxing is gonna uh, always trump any type of bruise bro, or he did not, bro. He whooped his ass, bro. That's what you not understanding. That nigga got in there and whooped his ass. Yeah, bro. It wasn't no technical. Uh, no he did that the first ass. fight, bro. He just got knocked down, bro. Go look at the first fight, bro. The first fight, bro. Wilder might have been a little bit better. I've seen. I've but seen he was in better shape the first fight. That's the only difference to me. Shit. I think Wilder was way, he looked way better the first fight. That's what I just said. That's exactly what I just said. And it still was that. He just caught him with that. You know that? That nigga still got 40 pounds on you, bro. I, I feel that. I'm not refuting that, bro. That definitely matters. Athlete, bro. Nah, 40 bro. pounds matters. But bro. don't take on the don't take on the challenge then. Damn, Church, bro. could you imagine what I look like if you gave me 40 pounds of muscle? You couldn't. You couldn't. You can't even, bro. You can't. Could you like, damn, you would be a dumb, big-ass nigga. Hey, don't let that 40 pounds be the only reason, B. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm not going to say it's the only reason. He got his ass whooped, but he kept putting that weight on him, too, bro. When that yeah, nigga's sure. locked up. For sure. He definitely, but he was leaning on his advantage. You know, you're going to lean on what you're best at. You're yeah, telling me shit. James Harden just fucking did Dennis Smith last night with that travel-ass step back. What you talking about? You're going to do shit. what you do best. Yeah, he broke that nigga down, made him fall. Cross him, pick your ass up. Pick your... I'm about to... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pick your ass up. Who has the best step back in the NBA? 
Kimba. <clears throat> Kimba step back ball. Step back God. No, I don't think it's Kimba. No or no. Kyrie. It's either Kimba or Kyrie. Okay, it's Loki James Harden. It's James Harden. <laughs> Loki. Fuck James. that nigga. Yeah, hate all you want. I'm, why? Hate. How come when I say something, I gotta be hating? Because it's just because like it facts, is. bro. Yeah, yeah like, bro. That's not Some a fact. How do you make like, that a fact? Like, because why, 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 why when I say LeBron is trash in the finals, I'm hating, and it's not a fact. Because it is. It's more of a fact than James Harden being uh not his step back not being hard, bro. What I'm trying to figure because out is that step back to the left, bro, or right, or whichever way he left. go, bro. When he do it, bro. James when he, Harden is a bro. bum. And he shouldn't he, even be in bro, the same circle as LeBron. Look, listen, this is all I'm saying. This, this, Let's get this straight. Let, can he, I, okay. Bro, only got three more rings Hold in the middle. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> but let me, it's only one difference in them niggas, bro. Only. It's only one difference, and that's the fact that James Harden don't play defense. Because if he did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Because if, if you called him a bum, bruh, uh, you can say what you See, want, I know bro. we just got totally James Harden off went, topic. We were supposed to go in on the D-Way shit. You're right, we but on water you're right, but you said So let's bullshit. close on the water Nah, you, said, so you be saying no bullshit, and then you try to cut us off. Nah, fuck that. The point is, nigga, James Harden then went off for 50 on LeBron and them, too. Why LeBron ain't guarding? You think he couldn't? Because LeBron's the best player. Best player guard the best player, right? Because Kawhi Leonard guard the best player, bro. Or, well, now he with Paul George, they can trade off. So, but all I'm saying is LeBron ain't stopped that nigga from getting 50. Matters. It do. It do. Watch your thumb. <laughs> look, oh, now you want some Jay-Z old Kaye shit. Some old Ky- Look, that's what I'm saying. Matters. Hey, you know what? Okay, now look. Go read my Twitter bio. It says Gator Stan, LeBron Stan. It was mm. You feel me? Stop oh. telling my nigga James Harden. Bro, I'm the one who just told Bro, you hey, about this shit. Oh so, my hey, God. so you telling me? So you telling me you can get a stand from multiple people? No, You're a stand whore. No, I'm not. <laughs> Not a stand for multiple people. You're a stand for four. You're a stand for LeBron. You're, That's a you're team. definitely Kanye stand. So, <laughs> not a Kanye stand. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey but, but but we was just agreeing that you was. <laughs> you a Kanye stand, man. Stop. 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 That's all I'm saying. <sighs> you guys. Back to the D Wade shit. We close with the Tyson Fury. He gonna do the rematch clause. Bro, I'm tired of talking shit. about D Wade shit. Right. We wasn't here. I hope he don't cut his dick off, man. <laughs> Cut <laughs> his dick, me, way. All right, well, fuck it. Oh, Let's talk about that then. Man, what are y'all thoughts about Boosie commenting on the D Wade shit? I mean, I kind of agree, but he didn't say. He was going to chop his shit. I mean, D-Way never said that, but uh, I just, I feel, I feel where Boosie was coming from, just in case type shit. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Like, hey, bro. and then the icing on the cake of that is, Boosie gets banned from Planet Fitness. <laughs> yeah, oh so, so like, we, you feel Boosie's comments? Are they over the line nah, to the business? I mean, I feel like any comment toward, toward the gay community is going to be uh, you just can't say it, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Because they gonna be sensitive about it, bro. And I ain't trying to be funny, but they sensitive people. Like <laughs> it's just what it is, bro. Niggas can't take jokes. Niggas can't do nothing no more, bro. That's why boys is dying, bro. You think half of these killings is happening because of drugs? No, nigga, they happen because a nigga said something. They said, I'm going to beat you up. He got mad. I'm going to kill you. And he shot him. Like, and now he's dead. Like, that's literally how it be going nowadays, bro. This shit's so you crazy. Think pride bro. is a motherfucking reason. Yeah, damn near. Black man pride. Can I speak on something? Huh? And that, 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 that and women studying so because, hard. Because, I mean, studs is about that life too. we going to close on this segment with the sports and the entertainment in one with this, with this fact. All right. R.I.P. Kobe. All-Star game came. He was in Chicago. Next year is planning to be in, in Indy 317. But right now, we got the feds in the city. With a big event like that, what... 
what, what, I need something in this goddamn city. What 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 kind of changes do you guys see coming down the pipeline that are Ain't no changes are, are going to make this because you're not going to mess up this city's opportunity to welcome all kind of new markets and investors and opportunity. You know what I'm saying? All star game. You said they're gonna try to give they try to send things to the feds. People, but you didn't like. Sometimes listen to keywords. People who've already did priors. If you ain't got no prior, yeah, you get caught with an unregistered firearm. Chances of you going to the feds is... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're not going to the feds. You're not going to the feds at all. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? We're not. We're, we're going to knock on wood. I don't know if that's where we're uh, <laughs> What do y'all think the implications of the city, you know what I'm saying? What needs to happen to, to clean it up just to give us a better look? Because... I ain't gonna say the city's trash, but the shit that's going on out here is. Well, all I know is. There ain't no fixing, bro. Ain't, drugs is always gonna be drugs. Killings that's is always saying, gonna be bro. killings. And shit, everything else gonna be in between. Uh, to where people. It'll, fix, it'll, it'll get fixed when people are actually making real money out here and we ain't got a slave to go to work. Because at the end of the day, as long as that's still happening, bro, shit, bro, kids. So you shit, think you got to work on yeah, it? Yeah, I think that too. Nah, bro. So you think giving people more bro, money is going to make it better? Bro, you can work as hard as you want, bro. It's people. What about bro, the proverb, about- you teach a man to fish, you get good for life instead of giving right. a man a fish? I, I feel all of that, but when when these kids is going to college, bro, and they still in debt when they get out, bro. Bro, you don't have to work. College, college is, choice, is definitely bro. not the way. College, co- okay, college, college is, is a choice. Okay, so what other choices is it? Okay, you got college, you got Vocational the street. Vocational schools. Okay. Trade schools. At the end of the day. I didn't go to college, and I'm fine. Yeah, I feel all of that. No, you're not, though. Shit. If you was fine, you wouldn't have been worried about that fucking accident when you got in it. You'd be Did like, all right, mean? nigga, I'm going to have the money regardless. That's fine. You're not Did fine you right now. Shit, we still, fine. Bro, we still broke, bro. You still going to be broke, bro. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Okay. Money's we, not, it's not going to be continuously coming you in, You pod, so let's segue. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we pod, so let's segue, Mr. Bernie Sanders. What's if up? we give people, we just give people shit. Bro, what did the, you even read the article? Bernie Sanders never said that out of his mouth, bro. Bro, he's a socialist, bro. Bro, That's part th- of like no, okay, okay, but that ain't how he proposed to pay for it. So the meme going around is false. It don't matter. I know that. That means okay, I look okay. Up shit. So what? It, so don't how? Let did... the forty pounds be the only reason. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm not gonna say it's the only reason. He got his ass whipped, but he kept putting that weight on him too, bro. When that yeah, nigga's locked sure. up, for sure, he definitely. But he was leaning on his advantage. You know, you don't lean on what you're best at. You telling me James Harden just fucking did Dennis Smith last night with that travel ass step back? What you talking about? You're going to do shit. what you do best. Yeah, he broke that nigga down. Made him fall. Cross you. Pick your ass up. Pick your... I love you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pick your ass up. Who has the best step back in the NBA? Kimba. <clears throat> Kimba step back one. Step back God. No, I don't think it's Kimba. Or Kyrie. It's either Kimba or Kyrie. It's Loki James Hart. <laughs> Loki Fuck James Hart. Yeah, hate all you want. I'm, why? Hate. How come when I say something, I gotta be hating? Because it's just like it is. facts, bro. Yeah, yeah like, bro. That's not Some a fact. How do you make like, that a fact? Like, because why, 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 why would I say LeBron is trash in the finals? I'm hating, and it's not a fact. Because it is. It's more of a fact than James Harden being, uh, not his step back not being hard, bro. What I'm trying to figure because out is. That step back to the left, bro, or right, or whichever way he left. go, bro, when he do it, bro. James when he, Harden is a bro. bum. He shouldn't he, even be in bro, the same seat as LeBron. Look, listen, this is all I'm this saying. This, this, Let's get this straight. Let, got the, can yeah. I, okay. Bro, we got three more reasons. Hold oh, on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> but let me, it's only one difference in the league, bro. Really? It's only one difference, and that's the fact that James Harden don't play defense. Because if he did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Because if you because if you call him a bum, bro, you can say what you want. Do y'all know we just got totally off topic? We were supposed to go in on the D Wade shit. You right? It was on Wilder and Perry. So let's close on the Wilder. You said so. You be saying no bullshit, and then you try to cut us off. Now fuck that. The point is, nigga, James Harden then went off for fifty on LeBron them too. The why LeBron ain't guarding. You think he couldn't? Because LeBron's the best player. Best player guarding the best player, right? Because Kawhi Leonard guard the best player, bro. Or, well, now he with Paul George, they can trade off. So, but all I'm saying is, LeBron ain't stopped that nigga from getting 50. Not a shit. 
It do, it do. Watch your throat. <laughs> look, oh, now you want some Jay Z old Kanye shit? Some old Kanye. Look, that's what I'm saying. Matter. Hey, you know what? You're, okay, now look. Go look at my Twitter bio. It says Gator Stan, LeBron Stan. It don't even say Kanye mm. Stan. You feel me? Stop oh. playing my nigga James Harden. Bro, I'm the one who just Bro, told you hey, about this shit. Hey, so, oh hey, so you telling me? So you telling me you can be a stand for multiple people? No, You're a stand whore. No, I'm. Not. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm not a stand for multiple people. You're a stand for Florida, a stand for LeBron. You're, That's a you're definitely Kanye stand. So. <laughs> Not a kind of stand. Oh my god! Every fan, hey, hey but, but 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 we was just agreeing that you was. Uh, uh, nah, man, you a Kanye stand, man. Stop. Stop. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> you guys. Back to the D Wade shit. We close with the Tyson Fury. You gonna do the rematch call? Well, I'm close tired of talking about D Wade. Right. But we wasn't here. I hope he don't here. cut his dick off, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut his dick, me way. <laughs> All right, well, fuck it. Oh, Let's talk about that then. Man, what are y'all thoughts about Boosie comment on the D way shit? I mean, I kind of agree, but he didn't say he was gonna chop his shit. I mean, D way never said that, but uh, I just I feel I feel where Boosie was coming from, just in case type shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Like, hey, hey and then the icing on the cake of that is Boosie gets banned from Planet Fitness. <laughs> yeah, oh God, <laughs> so, so like, we, you feel Boosie's comments are they over the line nah, to the business? I mean, I feel like any comment toward toward the gay community is gonna be. Uh, you just can't say it, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, because they gonna be sensitive about it, bro. And I ain't trying to be funny, but they sensitive people. Like, <laughs> it's just what it is, bro. Niggas can't take jokes. Niggas can't do nothing no more, bro. That's why boys is dying, bro. You think half of these killings is happening because of drugs? No, nigga, they happen because a nigga said something. They said, I'm going to beat you up. He got mad. I'm going to kill you. And he shot him. Like, and now he's dead. Like, that's literally how it be going nowadays, bro. This shit's so you crazy. Think pride bro. is the motherfucking reason. Yeah, damn near. Black man pride. Can I speak on something? Uh. And that, that, that and women studying so hard. Because, I mean, studs is about that life too. we going to close on this segment with the sports and the entertainment in one with this, with this fact. All right. R.I.P. Kobe. All-Star game came. He was in Chicago. Next year, is planning to be in, in Indy 317. But right now, we got the feds in the city. With a big event like that, what... What, what, I need something in this goddamn city. What 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 kind of changes do you guys see coming down the pipeline that are Ain't no changes are, are going to make this because you're not going to mess up this city's opportunity to welcome all kind of new markets and investors and opportunity. You know what I'm saying? All star game. You said they gonna try to give they try to send things to the feds. People, but you didn't like. Sometimes listen to keywords. People who've already did priors. If you ain't got no prior, yeah, you get caught with an unregistered firearm. Chances of you going to the feds is... Oh, like, yeah, yeah, you're not going to the feds. You're not going to the feds at all. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? We're not. We're, we're going to knock on wood. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Uh, <laughs> what do y'all think the implications of the city, you know what I'm saying? What needs to happen to, to clean it up just to give us a better look? Because... I ain't gonna say the city's trash, but the shit that's going on out here is. Well, all I know is. There ain't no fixing, right? bro. Drugs is always gonna be drugs. Killings that's is always saying, gonna be bro. killings. And shit, everything else gonna be in between. Uh, To where people. It'll, fix, it'll, it'll get fixed when people are actually making real money out here and we ain't got a slave to go to work. Because at the end of the day, as long as that still happens, bro, shit, bro, kids. So you shit, think you got to work on yeah, it? Yeah, I think that too. Nah, bro. So you think giving people more bro, money is going to make it better? Bro, you can work as hard as you want, bro. It's people. What about bro, the proverb, about- you teach a man to fish, the- you get good for life instead of giving right. a man to fish? I-, I feel all of that, but when when these kids is going to college, bro, and they still in debt when they get out, bro. Bro, you don't have to go. College, college is, a choice, is definitely bro. not the way. College, co- okay, college, college is a choice. Okay, so what other choices is it? Okay, you got college, you got Vocational the street. Vocational schools. Okay. Trade schools. At the end of the day. Uh, I ain't go to college, and I'm fine. Yeah, I feel all of that. No, you're not, though. 
Shit. If you was fine, you wouldn't have been worried about that fucking accident when you got in. You'd be like, all right, nigga, I'm going to have the money regardless. That's fine. You're not fine yeah. right now. Shit, we still, bro, we still broke, bro. You still going to be broke, bro. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Okay. Money's we, not, it's not going to be continuously coming you in, You pod, bro. so let's segue. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we pod, so let's segue, Mr. Bernie Sanders. What's and up? we give people, we just give people shit. Bro, what did the, you even read the article? Bernie Sanders never said that out of his mouth, bro. Bro, he's a socialist, bro. Bro, That's part th- of like no, okay, okay, but that ain't how he proposed to pay for it. So the meme going around is false. It don't matter. I know that. That means okay, I looked okay. up shit. So what? Is, so how did he propose to pay for it? Then if you looked it up. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. Look so, at the other pieces around Bernie so, Sanders, bro. He's still going to have an agenda. He's still going to have to. It's them to like Trump in this fucking wall and everybody said it wasn't going to happen. You know what? Bro. That wall's going to get built up. Oh, Okay. And now all these Democrats spending two years trying to indict somebody so, for some shit that they so thought happened or really did happen. So saying healthcare gonna be free, we gonna be legal, we gonna be legal, shit gonna be free. So, so where we talking? That's what I'm saying. So, where we talking about? Dude. Right, right or wrong? And how does that make for a better America? How does America make money? Because off? how does America make money off weed legal around a whole country, bro? Do you know how? Think about how much Colorado mm-hmm. made as a single yeah, state, bro. Money. We gonna be able to pay for child care and fix the roads and do health care. We gonna have it all, bro. I Especially with us exporting it, bro. You tripping, Look at the bro? People who are running shit tripping. right now. These conservatives ain't going. That's I, all I'm saying, bro. I'm not saying you're not right. On paper, logistically, that sounds about right. It could happen. It should happen. All right, bro. Um, look, look. That's all I'm saying. So, so what is your argument then? You, I, I'm saying you, you saying it like it's impossible, and you coming at it like it's impossible, but it is. If you think like that. You 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 already said it. It, it sounds good. I don't. I don't. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Nigga, you have. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Bro, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bean. <laughs> I don't dislike the capital system. If you work harder and you figure out a way to make more, you should be able to keep bro, your money. That's my thing. You should not have to slave to make money in the first place. That that's not, not what I'm saying. But that is what I'm saying. You don't have to slave to make money. Bullshit, you bro. You saying that, bro? Okay, I don't think bro. You have to slave. So, so listen. So what I'm what I'm saying is, you think your job ain't slavery? When you out there vending, carrying another man beer, when you know the nigga above, you's making more money bro, than you, bro. I don't need Pyramid really scheme, bro. Like yes, that. that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so, okay, so what you trying? That's what I'm saying. So what you trying to do? What you mean, nigga? You said okay, bro. Niggas is working for me, and I get a percentage. Okay, either way, you get a percentage, right? Yeah. Of somebody else's shit. That means you working for another motherfucker anyway. You still a slave, bro. You still out there doing the same shit, bro. Oh, that nigga don't have to come in. Bro, at the end of the day, bro, this is what I'm saying. You ain't making no money to where you about to retire, bro. So you ain't... you ain't. Why would you want to retire is my question. I love what I do. This this content creation, this pod with y'all, the streaming. Because I don't want to do shit. I don't want to do shit. I, wanna, I want people to see me and be like, who the fuck is that? I don't know. He coming here every week. Eh, I mean, that's one nigga, way. and they don't know why I'm, like, I'm in there every week, nigga. I just got money, nigga. I'm just in there, nigga. That's what that's my dream. If my you dream love what you do, it's not to... work, I think. That's really nigga. a lot of belief for me. Nigga. It's like Kobe and well, James you, Harden in the right. gym. And what I love to do is nothing, nigga. I want to fly around and smoke weed, nigga. Do all different cities, travel. That's what I love to do, nigga. So, at the end of the day, that's my goal. Like, nigga, I'm not trying to be... Having to worry about the business being ran necessarily. Like, nigga, if I had enough money to where I can retire, bro, and I don't have to do shit, I'm not doing shit, nigga. I may invest in stocks for my babies. But for me, nigga, I'm set, bro. Three, 400 million? Uh, if you can't live on 400 million, I don't need everybody to know I got the money, bro. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm not a fame. I don't need to be famous. What do you mean? I don't. Think, I don't need. I don't think in some people do I don't seek need out people to see me. I don't need. I don't that think some. Shit, I mean, some people do seek out fame, but I think the the spoils of success is. So that's, that's what I'm saying. What so what? So what you trying to do to where you gonna have money coming in all the time? Because you said you you ain't really bending like that, right? Mm-hmm. Or that's what you said you ain't trying to do. So what you gonna do? You ain't because we ain't talking about hustling. We ain't talking about going to college. And you can go to a trade school or whatever, right? But how long is that gonna take you? When you take a trade school, nigga, you know you only get fifty percent of the wages. And those schools, like the apprenticeship program for carpentry, is four years long. Four years long off fifty percent wages. Exactly, nigga. Hustle. Do something else to make that money up in the back end. You don't have no choice. Like that's what I'm saying, bro. It's set up to where no matter what you do, 
Ownership. You go on. One of your ownership favorite. Ownership. One of your the, favorite rappers just bought his masters. That's what I'm saying. Ownership is the only way to continue to make money. So why are you talking on this platform and you know, I own your voice, or, or at least. It, yeah, I own your voice. I t- and I told you, what did I tell you off wax? I don't do it for the money. I know, I, we were just speaking that's on the sake saying. of the that's, conversation. That's what I'm saying. I don't do it for the money, niggas. This, like, this is what I do. I can't do it, and this is what I do. But at the end of the day, if this wasn't here, I wouldn't be missing it either. Because I would be on something else. Because that's what I'd be on. Like, I'd be on something else. I would probably, and I, and you would too. Like, if you was not doing this, you would be doing something else. You would not just be sitting at, at the crib. Like, nah, I'm not a homebody. That's what I'm saying. We'd be go get her. He ain't either. I know he ain't about, if he was not bending and he wasn't pocket, I know he's not sitting at the crib. He done found some other type of way to make some money. We didn't bounce all over that. All right. So we didn't touch on Bernie yeah. Sanders, Jackson. I mean, do what you, that's all I'm saying. Do, you you got to do what you got to do in America. Marco. Bro, my, bro, my baby, I'm going to be up trying to support. She going to feel it, bro. I got I'm, one for I'm not working. No, I'm selling dope. There's Marco right here. Oh, my mama. They going to be on you. They look at you. Shit, they can do that. And then on top, I ain't got no sources of income. It ain't that easy, bro. They put you in jail now. <laughs> all right. Um, D-Wade, Bernie Sanders... Um, we have touched on the Kobe RP, Kobe Wilder Fury. Just recapping that first two segments. Let's dive into some Lock and Key. Mm-hmm. Check that out. I know you don't watch TV, but you can sit with us. You gotta get on some. You gotta get on some Netflix, man. It's the so, way. It's the way. Look, the Mandalorian. Not the shows he be watching. Cause he be watching. He be watching some questionable shows. Pause. All that. Pause. Since I got y'all both here, I'm gonna put that lock and key on hold. We're gonna put that in the back burner. Hey, because that's yeah, me yeah. and you can close with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I made a Facebook status about a week ago. Just sitting, you know, I don't know what I was doing. I was in a creative vibe. And I was like, my top favorite rappers. And I know I illustrate it as my, meaning Derek. The pronoun meaning possessive, meaning I own this top five. No one else's. It's not an influential thing. This is like, you know, my opinion on my Facebook page. So, you know, it's like my platform. Anyway, y'all keep, y'all know y'all keep saying hi, right? Anyway, I listed the people and both of my co-hosts hop on my shit like trash. So now that I got y'all in the same place at the same time and not arguing over the phone, I need to hear y'all top five because how can we, if we saying music is so subjective and this is why i say i'm pot and we gonna get into the next segment too because then we're gonna talk about the new music but let me hear your top five and then i gotta i gotta, know, your who, top I gotta five. know who your top five was again cold and no no particular order okay. cold ho yay wale sean i really want to put wiz on there but i was like fuck it i'm taking j cole drake Hov, B.O.B. Hold on, you said Cole, probably Kendrick. Drake. For sure. You just said Cole, Drake, Hov, B.O.B. and Kendrick. Kendrick. Are we talking all time? Then, no, your top five. Right now or just, just like, Yeah, I'll right say, now. All time. Uh, my fifth I'll, is Lil Wayne. I was going to say all time. I think I had Lil Wayne I on there. I was going to say, we go all time. time. Right? But I think I had Lil Wayne in my top five. But it wasn't all time. Yeah. It was just like right now. But anyway, like I was saying, how, so how do y'all call my shit track? You didn't say your top five. You're not getting away. Uh, all those people. Yeah, Wayne. Okay. You what you mean? Top five? Like, your, your top five. No, all time top five. Technically current. That's what I, yeah, your top five, like your top five rappers, like so he could be in there. Yeah, I don't like, really like him, but I'm telling you who is probably the best. Yeah, it's probably Wade, Cole, Drake. No, it's not the people you like or dislike. Your people you gonna go to? Because I definitely know you going to. No, I'm going to Drake. Young yeah. boy. <laughs> oh, I'm just I ain't going to Drake. I'm going to Drake. G Herbo. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, my go-tos? My, like, who I'm about to listen to today, right now? Oh, shit, they ain't even... Do y'all know the definition of a my top me? five? See, this is what I'm saying. How was y'all saying? Because he was saying my music selection was trash, and I was just trying to understand. Yeah, like, 
I do got a lot of little baby, bro. I, I but if them is your top five artists, like all time ever, yeah, that, that's trash. Those are not my top five. Those are just like I was saying, my go-to now, my all-time list. If we really want to get on some rap nerd shit, looks a little different. But Hov and Ye are I up lied. there. I lied about my top five. Anyway, I had to go through my shit. All right, I lied. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Right now, right? Mm-hmm. Drake is not in there. Yeah, Drake is not in the Neither is so Hov. Not, not right now. He's it's not. Right now, what, 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 what hold didn't drop? He's really tripping. Like what, <laughs> what, 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 what hold didn't drop? I ain't, I ain't argue. I ain't argue. Oh, you said Drake. Yeah, Drake, 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 Drake ain't drop shit. But the war song and the life is good with future. He don't gotta drop because he ain't. Nah, bullshit. Drop bad music. Bullshit because little, little baby yeah. drops. Little baby drops on Friday and that motherfuckers. You already know what that's about to do. So we gonna say that little so, baby better than Drake. All, 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 all I'm gonna say is he got two platinum. Is that what you said? Is that what you said? You said little baby better than Drake. That's all. Maybe he's better than Young Boy. He's definitely yeah, better, he's than, better young boy. than Young Boy. And and the baby. I'm not gonna say better than Drake because Drake is yeah, at the top. Too. But baby might be better. That's he might saying, be the best rapper. Nigga, what are you talking about, nigga? Why you think? I'm not gonna no, say. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. He, right. not gonna say he ain't. He's the KD right yeah, now. The torch has been I'm passed. I'm not gonna say he ain't. You know what I'm saying? He's the next up, bro. He's the Kawhi. Well, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. look, Drake love his bitches, bro. We know you. That's, that's what I'm saying. You said it's your spirit animal. I feel you. Hey. But let me tell you something. Hey, that boy, little baby, may be my spirit animal. That nigga don't give a fuck about baby. looking out for his niggas and getting money. Like, that sounds like me, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that ain't the nigga that flies me. I fuck with little baby. That's what I'm saying, bro. That nigga maxed up. All right, but hold up. Then we got my nigga Roddy Rich because he's definitely up yeah, there right now. Right. I'm, I'm bumping him. Roddy Cooper. Can't forget about he my nigga. Got, all he got is that Gates. one album. What are you talking about? Oh, nigga, not that many nah, albums. He got bro. one album. Bro, but his mixtapes is hard too. I'm not he saying that because I listen to him. He only got two. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's not a lot. Of, that's not enough music from what you just said. Why ain't it? Lil Baby only got two albums. Oh, he no, got got he got he got a lot of features though. He got a lot of features. But I don't know about Roddy features. I don't know about that. But then we go to my nigga. Did I say Big Gates? Did I say Big Gates? Trash. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Right, What's the reason I sent you a couple times? That's, that's what I need. Don't let me get a try. Hey, you know how you know why I can't rock to Kevin Gates? Because I almost wanted to say that. He started this whole little wave. This nigga the bacon man lives by this nigga Kevin Gates. Uh, yeah, nah, bro. Get him the fuck out of here. Hey, hey. I don't care what y'all talking about. Kevin Gates hard. <laughs> it's Kevin, a no. It's Kevin, a no. You seen American Idol? How you love like, Kevin Gates with Matt D-Way? It's a no for me, huh? dog. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> elaborate. What you mean? Ooh, elaborate. Elaborate. Let's nah, elaborate. Let's elaborate. He did. Nah, he do know. be letting his chick eat his booty and play with his ass. I mean. He with that ass. He with that. I mean. He hey. said that openly. He hey. said it's, it's, hey. it's natural. Like I told y'all, I don't judge anybody. You allowed to do whatever you want. But you ain't, it ain't like you about to just go ho check that nigga. Y'all can say what y'all want while we right here, uh, but ain't nobody ever gonna say that shit to his face. So what are we talking about? Because them is the, I mean, the fuck we talking about. Point. Exactly. How we, like, for real, for real, bro. For real, for real. Nah, D-Way. He's saying a lot of shit. He's saying a lot of shit. Nah, d Don't let us Nah, d He's saying a lot of shit. And I ain't for sure, I can't even for sure confirm D Wade situation. What you mean? What you mean? Because I'm not sure if he's getting it done. Now, now I can't Gabby. confirm. Gabby. 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 You never said it. You never said it. Nah, I, 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 I ain't. Mean, she she's she's definitely, definitely with the shit. She with the ass, bro. I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> but, 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 to be honest, <laughs> hey, hey, but look. <laughs> he said that sad as hell. Hey, hey. Now, nah, but listen, to be honest, though, I be talking to bitches in here. A lot of these niggas. A lot of these. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I know what you're talking about. Like, we ain't even touch. You want to speak on that? Hell no, because that's just like that's just sad. I had to go ahead and delete my post because like no, no, y'all that shit disrespect sick shit. What you mean? What you mean? You think extortion is illegal? Let's get that out there. No, nah, but that whole situation fucked up because she did, bro. Yeah, because so like, she's not here to defend herself. Yeah, and that's definitely why I feel fucking Snoop and anybody else who's defending Aaron Hernandez because these people are not here to defend their name. How y'all gonna bring up dead people's name? Get the fuck out of here. Gail King, uh, Jada Pinky, Mike Jackson, Hans, Michael Jackson, whoever the Shit. fuck is not here. I'm not defending nothing they did. I am not the judge, jury, or executioner. Hey. What I'm saying hey. is if they it's not here, hey. if they not here to defend their name, we shouldn't speak on that shit. Even yeah, if you have an opinion. Buddy. As That's you told me, nigga. as you told me. Here. We still speaking on him, goddammit. Who? Nah, oh, Who? 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 Did you just say it? I'm gonna have to edit that out, bro. I'm, not, uh, I'm definitely editing that out. Bro, wow. Oh my god. Compared to whatever y'all want, bro, but not everybody is saying, bro. And just because they die, bro, don't we shouldn't be glorifying them like they did Nipsey Hustle, uplifting him like he was really doing that much shit. Cause really he wasn't. Maybe in Cali and the Cali. California community, yes, but we not about to act like his music was doing them numbers, bro. We're not. I've been said that. So if we can, and, 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 if and we can't say no all shit, but don't forget he did that. Okay, like, point proven. Right, bro, he okay, did shit. but what you that mean? Was, was, but bro, we're not going around bro, here saying. We all, look, we're, we're not going, going around. We all know Kobe didn't like rape the white girl. We all like, yeah, because they're selling pussy. A lot of people bro, don't know that. Bro, a lot of ask a white person, bro, they'll probably tell you he did it. Yeah, bro. A lot of white people don't know the bitch that's selling pussy, bro. Like that don't mean nothing, bro. White people told us we was all slaves that came from Africa, nigga, and we know that ain't true. We definitely. Like, bro, that's bro, what I'm saying, bro. a lot bro. of black people be like, shit, no, nigga, we were slaves. I mean, eventually, we all were slaves, but I'm saying, we ain't all come back. <laughs> hey, we all were this slaves. is a great this point is. where everybody needs yeah, to We all slaves. were slaves, eventually. So where are we coming from? Shit, you don't think we was here? I don't know, bro. That whole shit crazy. And, 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 and then you think some of us And then you think Africa is the only island? You said what? You think Africa is the only continent they went to? Why not? Why not go to the Caribbean islands, get some of them niggas too? Like, <laughs> we want to get niggas from everywhere, they bro. Go. Yeah, they did. Nigga, they're not big enough to not. <laughs> what are you talking about, nigga? Because there's only people that bro, have then, sparked their own revolution. Then why are people that we know mixed with Haitian and fucking Jamaican and there's not that many some of them? Yeah, yeah, it ain't many of them. Some of them, wait, I ain't gonna lie to you, right? Bro. But, I feel that, but a lot of us ain't mixed with African either. That's yeah, why you need to get ancestries. Yeah, like, true. for real, bro. So that's all I'm saying. Let's get back to it's the meat and potatoes of what you said. Because you ain't trying to pie right now. Okay, the meaning when I'm saying we're not speaking on dead people, yeah, we're not speaking in a bad way like, hey, rapper Nipsey Hussle, who allegedly was a gang member of Rolling 60, went down and fucking gunned down three hey, people. That Damn. That's cool. That's cool. We got this one. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're not saying that. We saying don't bring up Kobe Bryant, who's alleged rape. Like if you even go back and listen I to the context, listen. No, I didn't listen to it. That's I what I'm saying. Go, care to put in. go listen to the Coach context of how she more. fucking asked the question. Like she wasn't even trying to be a, even a good. Well, I, I can. I try to tell him sometimes. I even try to take the media side to, as a journalist because you might really want to ask that question. You you can dress it up. Do that shit later. He ain't even been dead a month, bitch. The fuck out of here. I mean, I never feel you on that. You know what I'm saying? But the the fuck question out still of here. has to be asked. Like, later. At, the end of the day, at the end of the day, bro, tell me this right now. Tell me this right now. And this is real shit from both y'all niggas. So y'all, y'all niggas really don't want to know if Michael Jackson was really touching them kids. Like, on some real shit. What I do Just know. to clear the air, bro. I no, you want to go? I do, bro. bro. Because, bro. If the yeah. FBI is investigating you for 10 years and they find nothing... What does that mean? Did they really find nothing, though? They found nothing. Hey, but this is what I'm this saying. Is but this is what I'm saying. But what if you die and all of a sudden they do find something? Then all of a sudden, oh, then, then what? They going to blow it so up? So do we think Bill Cosby was raping them, them bitches? I think he was supplying the pills. They was all yeah. on Quay Lose and they was living and as I a child at the time. Tripped. And I think that whoever he was buying from was like, nigga, you better keep paying me, nigga, or it's over, nigga. I think they was all I living think everybody in... was on Quay Lose back then. That's bro. what I'm thinking. Yeah, they were child of the times. So like, I think everybody was on Quay Lose. And, 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 and then it was like, shit, he got money, shit. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm 
that's pretty much how I think it happened too. Good well, topic, good chat, good. Uh, we was going in right there. Good chat. So what? Uh, I'm just saying, we're well, we not glorifying Nipsey. I you know, no, but, I, don't, but, I don't want to take nothing away from Nipsey either. I, he was just the, the example I use because people do get glorified in death, but then they forget all that bad shit that they did. I'm like, shit. We just. All I'm saying is, I can't look, 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 look. I can't teach my kid. Hear me out. So you just be like, hear me out, just hear me like out. everybody can't go to heaven. No, nah, just hear me out. <laughs> but I can't glorify Nipsey because then my kid is like, oh, he was a Roman 60 crib. He woo 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 did this, did this. I'm going to be a Roman 60 crib. Woo woo. I got to let you know, hey, yo, he might have had a couple bodies, son. You need to chill out. You don't kill anything you do. He do. Nah, nah, bro. I ain't supporting him, bro. I'm not. My mama, bro, my brother got arrested, bro. My mama let him sit there, nigga. I was taught different, nigga. I feel that. Nah, if, you love, you don't, if you love your kid as a hoe, you don't love him. My mama was a single mom. That he or she made my mama was a single mom with three boys. You talking about she ain't love us. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, shit, she let that nigga sit there. She, you got to learn your lesson, bro. At the end of the day, bro, I'm not about to let you keep making mistakes, bro. And if you keep making mistakes. I was mistakes, just coming down to, should they cut his dick off? Nah. Nah, D Wade. <laughs> hey, is that what you get that? Is that what you get that? Wow. All right, bro. We gotta go. We're I, ain't, I ain't with the shit. We gotta call. Like I'm saying, I don't even want to speak on that topic. We didn't do. Well, I, I mean, we didn't already talk. So about okay. we didn't already I don't want to ask you this though. Right. If, your, if your kid came home at 12 years old and said they want to be the opposite sex, I <laughs> do not want to dive into this topic. <laughs> what? Because I have family. You know, yeah. you get what I'm saying. I ain't going into it. Yeah. But yeah. See, that's why it's fucked up. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. This shit crazy. I couldn't do it. So I know I ain't getting rid of mine. You said what? I ain't getting rid of mine. Who you getting rid of? Shit, I ain't chopping my dick off. <laughs> Shit, so I don't give a fuck. Who, could, who chopped theirs off? Nigga, more power to you. You know, you know how you just talking about Kobe wife being a strong woman? And you gotta be a strong guy to give up your penis because there's no fucking way. You know, were you ever really man if you give it up? <laughs> Uh, uh, you were born. Oh my god, that shit is funny as fuck. He said you gotta be a strong guy. <laughs> oh, hey, that's real though, man. Bro, yeah, like wow, love. Man. There's no way. <laughs> shit, what else is on the docket? What else is on the docket? That shit is funny. It's not funny, but it's like oh, we didn't touch no Bernie's. Bernie said what? Bum ass. I got a question for you. Oh, it's real serious. Oh, I know. We're going to close with this. This is going to be the controversial critic. I say I'm on my podcast killer mode. I think I told you that. I don't tell you that. But somebody tried to come for my livelihood. And uh, How did they come for your livelihood? Because they ain't trying to kill you. They ain't come for your livelihood. No, nah, when they nah. come for the shit that you stand for and shit you do. That, 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 that's what I that's mean. The, that's your livelihood. That's your livelihood. Your baby, your, your, that's how you come for you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, they came for your me. baby, nigga. Yeah. So, so, like, like, let me get... Oh, you, you go, know, you man. go. Fuck. All right, all right, you been there, right? You said you you really just set the shit up, you know what I mean? You cut a percentage, but when somebody come and try to step on your toes, bro, you got to cut you gotta cut that shit short. Oh, yeah. like, like, nah, it's over for that, bro. You ain't about to, you know what I mean? Like, shit, baby, nigga, this is what I do. So, uh, been read a lot of comic books in my life. Um, professional jobs I've did, CBS, Fox, Disney, ESPN. None of that shit matters, honestly. In this world, everybody has figured out that if a stripper can become the biggest fucking megastar in the world, if people are getting paid millions of dollars for fucking playing with slime on YouTube, none of this shit and these certifications and y'all bum-ass degrees unless you're like a fucking rocket fuel mathematician, name some shit, I don't know, unless you're curing fucking Alzheimer's, none of that shit really matters. So, nigga tried to come in my shit was like, Nothing I say is factual as a YouTuber. Because, you know, I don't even say I'm a podcaster. I started on YouTube and got bored talking about just the shit I was talking about. I wanted to talk about more. Hence, we got a podcast. We're going to talk about more. Nothing I say is not, what is it, subjective? You feel me? If I say Black Panther's ass because the bitch cocked the gun in the scene and then hit somebody in the head... I don't know, maybe it's just my hood, mind, bitch. Why the fuck did you cock the gun? I don't know. That's here nor there. But when you gotta come from my livelihood, I gotta start, you know what I'm saying, putting I mean if that's what if that's what determines you 
you know, you make the movie trash or not. Then. No, that's definitely not what you know makes the movie trash. It's a lot, it's a lot of other shit. Especially DC, you know, that... Oh, my God. You know, that's it. not what I'm saying, but it's a lot of shit that... You don't like just, DC? If you got your oh, eyes closed... If you if you got your eyes closed to certain facts, then you're never going to learn. Just like some people telling me DC movies hit, and I know they all don't. Only the ones that... Really, is only like two that really hit. The rest, eh. If you like them, you like them. That's all subjective. But if I'm saying... On the aspect of a movie, lighting, shading, the fucking background music you got is too loud. Those are all real things. I'm sorry. Like, Stevie Wonder might not can see that shit, but he can hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are like, you can't just be so closed minded and say shit isn't facts because you don't see it that way or some shit movie just won all these fucking awards. Let me ask y'all a question. Have either one of y'all seen The Shape of Water? Mm-hmm. Have you? No, that's the love story. Movie won fucking like 20 Academy Awards and all this other shit. I couldn't get into it. Fell asleep in the first 10 minutes. Does that mean it's trash? No. It means it's not my, my movie. That means it's not for me. But that also means them 20 fucking awards might be irrelevant too because I've already given it a chance. So I'm saying all that to say anybody trying to come to me, come at me, Talk crazy to me about not putting factual shit out because I don't like bum ass Black Panthers. You can fucking eat a dick. You feel me? You can come anytime on this mic, on this platform, toe to toe, give you guys an audience, but I'm gonna make you hate that shit and eat all your words because, like, I do this shit. I done read over like a thousand Batman comics, so I can tell you shit. Half this shit is subjective, but my opinion is no bigger than the biggest YouTuber or the smallest YouTuber. Like, all this shit is opinionated. So anybody coming for my shit can come see me in the streets or I'm gonna just start slapping y'all niggas like bums like we back in 08. Fuck. <laughs> Any more questions? That was a good controversial crit. I'm glad you wrote that segment. Then I can just go in and the whole episode then like a rant. You got anything you wanna add what you wanna go in on? These bum ass strippers? These weak ass ass shots? Uh, I love ass shots. The 30, 30 pole, the shots. stripper falling from the 30 foot pole. We can go in on ass shots. I go in on ass shots. I don't really like ass fuck, shots. Fuck fake boobies. They cool. I guess. Um, That's only about who do the surgery. Bro. Only if you spent the bag on us. Dr. Say, Miami, you, know, you can go to Dr. Miami, that shit don't count. Well, he don't use ass shots. He uses your natural shit. So. I think, yeah, I think that's what uh, her baby mom did. Her shit, like, natural, but it's fake. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's her real fat, but it's like, you see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, well, her baby mom ain't that, ain't that bad. I don't think she No, nah, but her ass is stupid. I mean, oh, that was a good like, episode, gentlemen. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of booty out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, nice way to close. Nah, that motherfucker, bro. Bro, it's booties bigger than.